Hi folks, it's Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you an introduction to indexes in SQL Server. So I'll cover off six key things. So I'll talk about why create indexes and just to tick it off now, indexes are really about making queries run faster. Um, the other um, benefit about indexes is that because they allow these queries to run, um, run much more efficiently, they cause less stress to the underlying um, server which the uh, database is sitting on. Um, then I'll jump in and give you a demonstration of a practical demonstration of how uh, much quicker uh, queries run with uh, various types of uh, indexes. Then uh, after that I'll show you how to get hold of the demo files. Then I'll give you a bit of an overview of um, index concepts. Then we'll jump into another practical demonstration of how to build three main types of indexes which are columnar indexes, um, clustered indexes and non-clustered indexes. Then I'll um, show you some additional resources that you might find useful as well. So we'll jump through and show you, um, provide a this uh, practical demonstration of how um, how much quicker a index can make a query run. So I've got a, a fairly simple query here where I'm selecting, uh, where I'm basically returning sales information by um, six or seven uh, country IDs. And this is uh, querying a table that has about 13 and, a, and a, uh, 13 and a half million rows of data. So it's sort of moderate to large um, table. So we'll execute this. So this is running without any index. So uh, this syntax here, index zero, means don't use a uh, index. We'll see that this, when you look at the statistics, we see it's taking about three and a half seconds to run without an index. If we use a clustered index, which is sort of one of the standard sort of um, indexes that are used, we see it takes about a tenth of the time, so it's ten times faster. So that's quite impressive. But if we jump down and use a columnar index, which is a new feature in SQL Server 2012, and execute that, we see it's taking uh, 32 milliseconds. So that again is ten times uh, faster again. So you can see that uh, there are these huge benefits, performance benefits that can be achieved um, with using indexes. Okay, I'll just show you where the we can get the demo files from, um, and they're on my my website. So my website is analyticsinaction.com. And if you go to forward slash indexes, or if you navigate to the reporting tab, um, you'll see the um, the tutorial there. And underneath the tutorial, so let's click through to it. I've got um, two links. One is the actual um, database, um, so you can click on this. So one thing to note, this is because we're dealing with a huge table, this is a really, really big file. So it's 1.3 gigs in size. So don't download this unless you've obviously got some you know, ultra fast broadband, but you can just click on that. It will take you through to my um, my Google Drive and just download that. Um, the other file is much smaller, just a little bit of, is just the text file. So this has the code to run the uh, various queries, plus also set the IO stats and the, um, the time uh, stats. So um, once you've downloaded this, uh, this table, you'll need to attach it. So what we do is we, so if you click on the database, go back into SQL Server Management Studio, right click, go restore database. So, um, so what we need to do is we're going to say restore it off device. Um, we're going to navigate to where it's located. I've got it sitting in my backup um, folder. So my backup folder is in this location here. And it's backup index DB. Click OK, and it'll take a um, a minute or two just to back up. So click OK. Okay, so um, what happens is a little um, icon pops up and says the database is fully fully restored. And what we need to do is just 
shrink that down or refresh it expand it out and here we go we've got the um, the database got the two tables we've actually uh, in this tutorial we only use that one table okay so a little bit on index um, index concepts and the best way to start is really to explain what happens when there's no index in place so we'll use a very simple query to demonstrate the the um, the the concepts here so if we have a query um, such as you know select all from a table where the value uh, column equals 100 um, when there's no index in place uh, to find those values, you have to, um, the database has to perform what's called a full table scan. Essentially, it starts at the top and just looks for that value of 100. Uh, and this is inherently inefficient when you're uh, when you have really, really large tables of you know tens of millions, hundreds of millions, or even billions of of rows of data. In contrast, with a index, what a say for a, uh, example a non-clustered index, a non-clustered index is is basically a separate structure that sits outside of the table and it forms this thing called a B tree or a balance tree which is basically a hierarchical representation of where that value sits in the table so if we're looking for the value 100 we know that okay it's down this lower branch here then it's um, down this middle branch and then it, uh, what the index does is then maps that across a bit like a, a sort of look up in Excel um, to the um, to the table um, and that makes uh, turning the data much more efficiently. Uh, we also have these, um, okay, the, the bonus of a non-clustered index is because these indexes are, se are sitting separately from the actual table, you can have multiple indexes uh, for a particular table. So you could have an index that looks up this, the value um, column, but you could also have a separate index that um, focuses on, say, the country column as well. In contrast with, say, a clustered index, um, a clustered index, in a clustered index, the actual order of the values within the table actually changes. So uh, if we um, have a clustered index on the value column and it's in ascending order, we know that the value 100, uh, the 100 values will sit at the top of the table and you know the 700s will sit at the bottom of the table. Um, obviously we also have um, columnar indexes and columnar indexes like uh, are fundamentally different from these two uh, two indexes that I've just talked about and that rather than storing data across in, in rows it actually stores the data in columns and what that means is that in a columnar index the data can be compressed very effectively down uh, these uh, columns as opposed to um, these traditional indexes where data is um, compressed across the uh, the, the row uh, because what we find is that there's more similarities of data going down as opposed to going across and that makes these uh, these columnar index very very um, efficient for returning data okay so I'll just give you a quick demo now on how to build um, indexes so you just jump into SQL Server Management Studio and if you navigate to the table that you're interested in and expand that out you'll see underneath it there's a uh, index folder so all you need to do is right click on that and go new index and what we'll do is we'll create a column store index it's actually probably a good time to talk about um, column store indexes and what additions of SQL Server they're available and what they're not. So column store indexes are available in the developer edition of SQL and also the enterprise edition of SQL Server. Um, and I mean the main reason for that I think is that they're very much considered to be an enterprise uh, feature because they're associated with large volumes of data. So Microsoft want you to shell out a little bit more money to be able to create column store indexes. So all you need to do is just click on the column store index, give it a name, just call it column, and then we add the, um, the columns that we want to include in the index. So you just go add and because our select query is focusing on say the country and total due let's just include those click yes we'll click OK and what it'll do is we'll go off and, and create it and because it is creating doing quite a bit in the background in terms of storage and restructuring how data is stored it does take a um, take a bit of time to create the, um, the index. Um, in this case I think it'll take uh, a minute or two um, and you can just follow the same process for um, for columnar indexes, oh, sorry for um, clustered and non-clustered indexes as well.
Okay, so just to wrap things up, I'll just um, give you a bit of an overview of some additional resources that you may find useful. Um, obviously, I have a uh, YouTube channel, so if you found this video useful, um, hit the subscribe button and that way you'll be uh, updated every time I produce another video. The other option, or the other um, thing that's a good idea is to go across to my website, which is called analyticsinaction.com and have a bit of a look around. There's stacks and stacks of information around um, uh, around SQL Server, so things about integration services, reporting services, analysis services, the um, tuning queries, um, you name it, it's there. Um, and yeah, so um, go across and take a look and um, um, if you like the video, um, just hit the, uh, hit the like button.